Hello guys and welcome to the long-awaited part 3 of the Ticonderoga class cruiser tutorial. So this is where we left off. We have half the ship and we're still working on the mast. So uh, let's get started. So first we're to go back to the mast here. Then we're to go underneath here and then skip these two blocks. Add in stone brick stairs in the front and to the side. Then we're going to add stone brick slab here. And then five stone brick slabs behind. So one, two, three four, five, like that. Then we're going to go towards the front and then add three. And then we're going to add two. Then we'll add in iron bars. Um, let's add in, so it goes diagonally like this and make it go all the way to the back part. Then we're going to skip a block here, add stone brick slab here, all the way to the back, add in iron bar here. And then we'll add in uh, upside down and a right side up stone brick stairs, like so. And then we'll add in a skeleton skull to the side of it. All right, then on the side here, we'll add dark oak fence gate. It's going to be two blocks long, like so. And then underneath here, we'll add in uh, two iron trap doors with a dark oak fence gate here and open it up like that. Then we'll add an upside down stone brick stairs to the side here, stone brick slab, and then a stone brick block. Then three stone brick slabs. Iron bars, we're gonna make three of them spaced apart. And iron trap door underneath that iron bar. And we're gonna make this go all the way to diagonal to the other trap door that we just placed earlier, like so. Then we'll go to this edge here, skip a block, add end rods, three blocks tall. Then we're to go diagonally back and add end rods, three blocks tall again. Next we'll go to the front, go underneath here. And then we'll add stone brick slab, two blocks here. Go diagonally down, stone brick slab here, two blocks. And then diagonally down, stone brick slab right there. Next we'll go to the back part, line up with this uh, fence gate and we'll place this slab with the stairs. And we're gonna add a cobblestone wall underneath it. And then we're gonna add another one here, make like an L shape. And I think it goes all the way back to the pole. Then we're gonna add one to the side here. And then we're gonna make uh, this point underneath that stairs, eight blocks tall, so one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we'll move back over here, skip these two blocks, and then make a line so it connects all the way across this middle area. And then we'll add another one right here to the side. Then we'll add cobblestone stairs. It's gonna go diagonally up. They're both upside down and it should look like this. Then we'll move down here, just uh, skip these two blocks, add another upside down cobblestone stairs, and this time it's going to go up three, so there's three of them down along like that. Then we're going to add an iron bar in front of the stairs, and then iron trap door in front of it. It's going to be four blocks long, so one, two, three, four. On the next layer below, we'll add cobblestone wall two blocks like that and then we want to make sort of like an O shape around that trap door like that or C shape since we're just building half of it like so then we're going to add stone brick block to the side of this wall and underneath we're going to add eight cobblestone walls so one two three four five six seven and eight go right back above and we'll add stone brick slab four blocks long one, two, three, four, like so. Then we'll add upside down stone brick stairs on the inside part of this. Add another one upside down facing towards it. Then we're gonna add in three stone brick slabs. So one, two, and three. Then we'll add another stone brick slab in the front here. And then we'll connect this all the way to the middle with stone brick slabs like so and then we'll make it go all the way across to the back part like that 
Then we're going to take iron bars, make a U shape here, and make this go all the way, wrap that all the way around to the back. Then we'll add a dark oak uh, fence gate here, open it up. And then we'll skip a block here and add polish uh, and a site block. Then we'll add an upside down uh, stone brick stairs on top. And another upside down in the front. Then we'll add stone brick slab here. And then two iron bars or iron trap doors with a stone brick stairs facing towards the back. And we'll also add in an end rod uh, sticking out like so. And a skeleton skull on the side of the stairs. And then we're going to add cobblestone wall right to the side of the stairs. And an end rod dangling up from that. Then iron bars, we're going to add three. Right here, go dangling, add another three. One, two, and three. Like so. Then we're going to add another three iron bars on top, in the middle. And we're going to make this top row just like we did the bottom row. It's just three like that. And then dangling another three. Like so. Then go back out here. And we're going to go block out. And then add three dangling like that. Then down low, add another three. Like so, so one, two, three. And then we're gonna go down low, add two. Like that. And now we're gonna add a layer right above the layer we just made. So it's like two blocks tall. Cross like that. Then we'll add an N rod right above that part with the other N rod. Now let's move uh, down over here. Uh, right behind this cobblestone, we'll add in cobblestone slab, like that, and another one dangling down. And then we're going to go dangling down inside, lines up with the middle mast, and then we're going to add another two slabs like so, add in cobblestone wall, two blocks here, and then we'll go dangling in at three, and then add one in this corner here. And then we'll follow that up. Then we'll add in four. One, two, three, four walls. And we're going to make this go all the way to the middle. Uh, like so. Now we're to go and add cobblestone stairs. Uh, let's add in two of them dangling up. Like this. Then we'll add another stairs uh, diagonal to that other stair. So let me try to place it right like so, so it lines up. Then we'll add in, in a wall uh, right underneath the stairs. Make it go to the middle. Add another one underneath. Make this part two blocks like that. And another one underneath. So it connects to... Then we're going to add an end rod in front of this slab. And we're going to make this go all the way to the mass, like so. Alright, so then we'll add a wall. Pop some wall down under here. Then we'll make an L shape underneath. And then we'll make another L shape going back this direction, like so. Then we'll make this wall eight blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Go back up here, add another wall underneath these two blocks so and then we're gonna go ahead and add another wall sticking out here add another two like that and we're gonna go down so it connects to the main mast like so then we'll add a cobblestone slab uh, upper slab here dangling up another slab and dangling back the other direction uh, a slab here and dangling up another slab. So it looks like this. Then I'm going to add a cobblestone wall back over here, skip a block, and make this part go all the way to the middle. Add a cobblestone slab here. Dangling down another cobblestone slab, and then dangling down another cobblestone slab. And we want to make sh like sort of like a half of an X shape with it. So let's try to do that. So that is half the X, 
and then the row underneath we're going to add in a cobblestone wall make that go all the way to the middle like that then we're going to line up with this wall here add in two in front diagonal add another two diagonal another two so it hits the mass like so and then we'll take out a cobblestone slab add a slab here good to go dangling back here dangling back one like that add another one here and then dangling back another one just like one two and then one like so then we're going to go underneath here add cobblestone slab here and we're going to add one like that another one here and then we're going to go dangling back down one here then dangling back down again and then dangling another one so this time it's going to be two one and then two like that then we'll add in cobblestone's uh, wall let's add one here I'm going to make it two blocks long like that diagonal another two then diagonal I'm going to add four so one two three four and then we're going to add another two at the end here then this part it goes all the way to the middle like so and then we'll add one to the side here and then two on top like that and make this part go back like so then we'll add cobblestone slab underneath this wall and then two cobblestone slabs here diagonally up another cobblestone slab and then right above here we'll add in cobblestone slab so these sort of like make half the X like that then we'll add in three cobblestone walls down here and cobblestone slab here dangling down and then this could be two blocks long and then dangling down another one like that then we're going to make the rest of the X so it should look like this next we're going to go right to the mast area cobblestone slab here dangling up cobblestone slab dangling up another cobblestone slab and then we'll go up to this row here dangling up cobblestone slab dangling up cobblestone slab and then we are left with this so it should be like one two one and actually we're going to move that uh, back out like that so it's like one two one two like that next we'll add a stone block underneath this cobblestone wall and then we'll add seven here so one two three four five six and seven like that fill in this part here then we're going to add four on top of the end so one two three four and add a stone brick stairs right there then I'm going to make this stone go all the way back to the center like this and then we'll fill in this entire wall of stone all the way across like so then we'll add in a gray concrete make that line all the way across like this and then we'll go over here add gray concrete underneath this wall make it go all the way back there and we're pretty much going to fill up this deck area with gray concrete. After we do that, we'll add iron bars right here on the side. It goes all the way across this stone, like so. Alright, next we're going to take stone, go underneath here, add in two here, and then add it underneath these stone blocks until we go underneath that stairs right there. So after that stairs, we're going to make this stone go all the way down to meet deck level so it should be right here and then we're pretty much gonna fill all this all the way down to deck level alright so once we added that we're gonna take out stone brick uh, slab and we're gonna add one or actually two of them here then five blocks tall of cobblestone and wall one two three four five and we are going to make it two blocks wide. Underneath we'll add two stone brick uh, blocks like that. 
and then a two by two of stone brick stairs and they're gonna face each other like so all right so next we'll take out stone brick and uh, we'll go over here to this line and extend that all the way until we meet that other stone block then we're gonna go above here fill that in with stone and this entire uh, area with stone they want to go back over here at gray concrete where the deck level is add a line across and we'll add a line across this part too then we'll fill this in with gray concrete then we'll add iron bar here to the side and and it's going to be on the other side as well so this entire side with the gray concrete we'll fill that in with iron bars then we're going to go to the bridge and add a stone button to the side of this polish and a site then we'll take out blue terracotta and then we'll go right over here right behind this uh, polish and a site and we're going to make a line all the way across to the middle then we'll make that go all the way to the front of the bridge and fill all this in with blue terracotta after we're done with that, we'll make a wall here with stone all the way across. And then we'll add stone brick slab right here. And we're going to make it two blocks wide and extend this all the way back to this wall. Like that. Alright, so yeah, that is pretty much it on the symmetrical parts of the ship. Now we're going to flip it off and copy the same thing on the other side. All right, so once you have both sides, it should look like this. Now we're gonna go in the front, make this giant radar. So go right over here, uh, I guess to the middle level end rod, skip a block, and delete five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Delete five below, like the row, and then we're gonna delete three here. Now top section, we're gonna delete two rows of five blocks wide and then three block wide on the row above so in the top and the bottom we're going to add in these smooth quartz uh, steers it could be upside down the bottom right side up on top and the rest is going to be smooth quartz blocks now in the original it's got to use regular quartz but that this does look a lot smoother uh, than the boxy lines and then we're going to add in stone buttons, uh, four of them, like this, making a sort of a square shape like that. We're also going to add in another additional end rod to this side, like so. Then we're going to go right over here, and then we'll add a block temporarily here, end rod, and we'll add three pairs of end rods, so one, two, and then three. Then we'll move to, up over here, scope a block, delete this, and we'll add in a black concrete behind it with stone brick stairs in the front skip a block and then do the same thing and this stairs going to face the other stairs so they're facing each other like so then we'll go to the bottom uh, skip one block away from that red terracotta and then we'll add a stone block with a stone button skip a block and two iron trap doors two red glass panes on top and a red terracotta inside the wall, like that. Next, go up here, uh, delete this corner, and add in cobblestone wall, and make sure this is right, because I welded it in. Cobblestone wall here, uh, nether brick fence, stone brick stairs in the front, stone brick slab on top, and oak trap doors on sides. I'm gonna close them up, like so. Next, go up to this mast, Add four uh, stone brick slabs. One, two, three, four. Then right over here, we're gonna add another two. Add one to the tip here, and then add another two. In the middle, we're gonna add another brick fence, and three blocks wide of this iron trap door. And then we'll add another stone brick slab in this corner. Then nether brick fence, uh, skip two blocks here, add two block, or just one nether brick fence. And a light gray carpet on top, 
skip one block away from the edge, fence, and a skeleton skull. Other side, skip these two slabs and add a fence, two blocks tall, and we'll add a skeleton skull on top. Then skip a block and add end rod, two blocks tall, and go right at the end, two end rods like that, and then diagonally back another two end rods stacked on top of each other, like so. So next we're to go to this side, and we're going to add end rods, it could be adjacent to the hole, like that. And this end rod is going to go all the way, line it up with that skull up there. So just go all the way across and make sure you line up the skull don't overshoot it like I dish I just did like so and then we're gonna go back down here and rod like that and this end rod goes all the way to the back all right then we'll add in a stone brick block here some brick slab here, another brick fence, and then a skeleton skull facing towards the front. Then we'll add in polish and a site right here in the middle. Uh, go back over here, delete this block. Inside part's going to be black concrete, and then there will be a stone brick stairs facing towards the front in the front of that. Next we'll take out uh, nether brick, or not nether brick, end rods again. And we're going to make a row all the way across here. Like so. Then we'll go uh, back down to this layer, take out polish anisite, skip two here, add two diagonal up like that, add another one up here. Then we'll add um, end rods right over here, the side, and make this go all the way to uh, the stone block. Like so. Then when it's going to go outwards again, so just add some more, three more here. So it lines up the side, and then we'll add another polish and a site block here. Like so. Next we'll add end rods right here. We'll go diagonally up. And this layer is going to be three blocks tall. Then go diagonally. And this uh, end rod is going to go all the way up. Right up to that end rod row in the top right there. So now we're going to move on to the other side. Add a lever right here. And a skeleton skull on top diagonally. And we'll add end rod right to the side of that. And this end rod is going to go all the way, line that up all the way with that slab window. So let's go across. Make it sure it lines up with that slab window. And my mistake, we're to delete that one. So it's just one block before that window. Then we're gonna go down, down, add in end rods. Should be four blocks long like that. Then this row here, skip these two blocks, add in two iron trap doors. Another brick slab or another brick fence on top. And a skeleton skull facing towards the front. Alright, then we'll go um, back over here and add in end rod. Um, make a row all the way across so they make that angle and make another line. It should align like that and this row here we're going to add another two end rods so it connect connects with like the front. Alright, then we're to go to the side here, skip one block, delete uh, five blocks at one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then we'll delete another five below this, and then delete three in the middle. 
So then we'll take out smooth quartz stairs, add upside down at the bottom, and smooth quartz fill in the rest. And then we'll replace this block here with smooth quartz and the stone with smooth quartz. And also the row above it, replace that. And then three smooth quartz stairs in the middle, the very top. Then we'll add in stone buttons, make a square shape, just like we did in the front, like so. Take out end rods, two block stall here. And then add in another two lines up like that. And then right above this one, we'll add another end rod. And this end rod goes all the way to the back. And then we'll move down here, add in end rods. Right to the side. And this is going to be three blocks long. So one, two, three. And then we'll have another two end rods, which are going to go vertically like so. Then we'll take out polish and a site and we'll replace these three here and these three. And down along to this we're going to add another three polish and a site like so. And then we'll place these two here. Add a skull and skull to the side like so. Alright next we'll add an end rod top of this end rod here. Dialing up, add another end rod here, four blocks tall, so one, two, three, then four, like so. Alright, next we'll move up to the side here, where this box is, and we'll fill in the floor of that with gray concrete. And we'll also do the same thing for the other box on the other side, which looks like this. So, let's move on to this side, uh, add in two skull and skulls here, and then another two on this side. And then cobblestone wall here, both sides like that. And then uh, we're to connect them together using dark oak fence gate, tripwire hook here, and then stone brick slab above here. Then we're to go above and skip a block here, make a two by three hole, add in blue uh, wool in the top and the bottom, quartz, and then yellow terracotta right there for the flag. We're also going to add another skull right over here. Add another skull to the side of this ladder. And then we'll add in end rods. So that end rods are going to go all the way across like that. Alright, so let's move on to the other side. So for this side, add in the two skull and skulls here. Two at the bottom. Cobs and walls, uh, dark oak fence gate, trip wire hook, and then stone brick slab here. And we'll add a red terracotta up in this corner. Then we'll add in a stone bun in the middle of this door. And then we'll go right above this area and skip a block, make a two by three hole here. Add blue wool on the top and the bottom. Quartz block here, yellow terracotta. Then we'll skip two blocks here, delete this block, and add in a stone brick stairs with a black concrete block on the inside part. So it should look like this. Then we're going to go after this door and we're going to make this stone so it's five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Three block tall, polish and it's like, and then we're going to add another five stone. One, two, three, four, five. Pull it site, three blocks tall. And then three stone. One, two, three. Pull a site, three blocks tall. And then we'll add in stone, fill in the rest, cross like that. And then we'll add in this orange terracotta right here in the middle, stone by the side of it. Add another orange in this middle area, and then stone buttons to the side of it. Then we'll add stone buttons to the middle of all these doors. Let's also add in stone brick stairs right above these two doors. And then we'll add stone on top, and then we're going to connect them together. 
across like that. Now we'll add stone right above, all the way like that, and then skip two blocks here. Add a go all the way across like that. Then we'll make this sort of vent, so that's going to be stone brick slabs, spaces in between. And then we'll add gray concrete on the inside part of it, so it's a little shadowy, like so. All right, then we're going to fill in the rest of this area with stone. After that's filled in, we'll take out dark oak fence gate, skip one away from the door, three blocks tall here, open them all up, skip a block, another three, open them all up. Then we'll add dark oak fence, two blocks here, skip a block, another two, skip a block, another two. On top, we'll add in a double of this smooth stone block like that, and another one diagonally like that, with dark oak fence gates underneath. And we're going to do that to the other ones. After we do that, we're going to add end rods, make a row all the way across to the end, like so. And then we're going to fill in this bottom area with gray concrete. So once that's filled in, we're going to take end rods, go right next to this door, add our end rod, and this is going to go all the way up to this top deck area. So let's extend it all the way to the top. It's going to go past that stone brick line, like that. Now there's going to be another end rod line. Uh, it's right next to these dark oak fence gates and this is going to go right up just before that stone brick so right over here it ends so let's add one to the side here and we're going to add another four on top of that so one two three four like that go down here and we're going to add another two like so and then we'll go ahead and add a skeleton skull up over here and an end rod cross like that and this is going to be three blocks long so extends like that and then we're going to skip a block and add another one like that and this would go all the way to the end and apparently this part didn't get filled in so let me fill that in real quick so it should look like this. Next we'll add cobblestone wall right underneath this stone brick line. Stone brick stairs here, stone brick slab. Skip a block, slab, and then a stairs, and then a wall. Go move down here, line up with this door, add in a oak trap door and open it up. Let's add in iron bar, two blocks like that on the side. Dark oak fence gate right here. Skip a block, add another one. Skip a block, another one. Skip a block, another one. Dark oak fences in between. Then we'll move down here, skip a block, and add one like so. And then we'll add in um, iron bars all the way across in the space in between. So once that's taken care of, let's move on to the other side. Alright, so back over here to this section. Uh, let's take out... Um, an oak trap door and we're gonna have that right after this iron bar it's gonna go right after the door open it up and then we'll add in iron bars two of them right here uh, dark oak fence gate skip a block dark oak fence gate two blocks long skip a block two blocks long skip a block one here and then another one facing it opened up like that another dark oak fence gate here and then two dark oak fences right there and then we'll fill in the gaps with the fences. Then in the back here we'll add three blocks tall of cobblestone wall. Add another one here. Then we'll add uh, iron bars all the way across that section here. So next we'll go to this door and then we'll add another two stone blocks here. Then orange terracotta stone by the side of it and stone by the side of the door and stone brick slab two blocks wide here and then we'll add stone brick um, slab 
up on top like that. So it's a full stone brick like that. Then I'm going to add a stone block and then polish andesite. And then two stones on the top part. And then fill in the rest of this part with stone like that. Then there will be um, stone brick slabs, three blocks wide. So one, two, three like that. Add another layer here, another layer, another layer. And then we'll add stone to the side of it. Cross like that. And behind all the slabs, we're going to add in oak planks, including that one in the front. So add the oak planks, cross, and the top part as well like that. Cover up the top with stone all the way across. And fill in this part with stone. So we're left with this. Then we'll go on the inside part here. Add in stone, two blocks uh, tall. I'm going to make it four blocks long. One, two, three, four, like that. Replace this top corner with a red terracotta, like so. And we'll add in two acacia fence gates here. Open them up, like so. Then we're going to go diagonally outwards. Add in stone, two blocks tall. Polish and a site, three blocks tall with a stone button in the middle of it. And then we'll add a uh, stone, makes it go all the way across uh, back to this side. And then we're gonna fill in the floor in with uh, gray concrete. After that's been filled in, we'll add in red glass pane in this corner. Then two end rods stacked on top of each other like that. And then we'll add um, a stone block roof up of that hole that we made. Then we'll fill in the rest of this hole in with stone. So after that's been filled in we'll take out dark oak fence and we'll add two here. And then we'll add in smooth stone uh, slabs like that. Sort of like how we did the other side like this and I, I'm going to have fence gates in the front of that. And then we'll make another one right over here. Skip a block, another one here. Skip one, another one here. Skip one, another one. And then we'll do this to all four of them. So after we do that, we'll take out another brick fence and make this into an L shape here. And do the same thing on the other side. Like so. Then we're going to go up here at stone brick slab. Before and after and then right above that fence. We'll add a stone brick stairs like that. Then we'll go ahead and add in end rods, one down here. And we're going to make this end rod go all the way to one block past this part. So just go all the way across. And then what we're going to do. Uh, take out the stone brick and the stone brick stairs like this. Then we'll add in uh, two iron bars here and then we'll extend all of this right so it lines up the end rod. So once we extended that, we'll add in iron bars, make an L shape up here. And we'll extend this iron bar all the way across like that. And then we'll take out stone brick slabs at three blocks wide here extend the iron bar and then it would have fill in all the way to that edge. So after we do that we'll go back to this side. Add in three dark oak fence gates, open them all up. Skip a block, add another three, open them all up. And let's add in polish and a site, definitely two blocks like this. A stone button to the side. And stone uh, one on top here and then two here. Stone brick stairs upside down, one there, and then two. It's going to be on this side, and that may be a little bit tricky to place, so I'll place some blocks temporarily so that we can have the upside down, like so. And then we'll add a stone block underneath here, stone brick stairs upside down, and stone all the way down here. And then we'll add three blocks tall stone or just polish andesite with stone button in the middle 
Then we'll add a skull and skull here and end rods right here. And this goes all the way to the very top. Cross like that, add another one to the side here and dangling up another one here like so. Next we'll go on the top row here, add in stone, make this go all the way down and fill in the rest with stone and then extend this stone brick all the way across here. Then we'll add in end rods, goes all the way to the top of this deck. Actually, we're gonna add, delete that one at the very top, but this one goes. But yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. And then we'll add a cobblestone wall here, two of them diagonally. Uh, skip two blocks, and then we're gonna add another two. Then we'll add in uh, skeleton skulls on top of these walls. Same thing on this one. And then we'll skip one, add another one here. Like so, and we can actually add that to the side of that stone brick. And then we'll make a door here using polish and a site. Put it right in the middle. Then we're gonna skip three, add end rods, two blocks tall, skip a block, orange terracotta, stone button. And then we'll take out end rods and extend this all the way to the orange terracotta. Like so. Then we'll go over here, skip three, add in end rods, make it go all the way up to the deck. And then we'll add in two iron trap doors here. Then we'll add in two end rods down here, and then we'll extend this end rod line all the way to the iron uh, trap door. Then we'll add another brick fence here, and a skull and skull on top. Then we're going to add an end rod right over here to the side. It could be three blocks tall, like so. Let's add iron bar here before and after the fence gate or the fence. And we're going to add iron bar all the way across this row. Then we're going to go on the inside part here. And then we'll add in a stone. Make it go all the way to the top here. And we're going to make, we're actually going to add five to this on the row on top one two three four five just made up a number and then we'll add in stone brick slab uh, two blocks here then we'll make a two by three of stone let's add red terracotta here and then uh, stone for the rest all the way down and then we'll add polish and a site three blocks tall here and then two stone brick slabs and then uh, stone all the way across like that now this top row we're gonna fill in that part with stone next to that all the way across like so and then we're gonna go down here at stone uh, let's make it four blocks tall and then make a I guess an upside down U shape or N shape like that in the middle, we'll add a doorway using polish and a site. Stone button in the middle like so. And fill in the top part with stone. Cross like that. Then we'll add red glass pane here. A cobblestone wall here. Stone button to the side of this. And another brick fence. Four blocks tall here. I'm going to add end rods in the spaces in between here. Another one right at this edge. Then we'll add in stone right behind this fence all the way to the top. And then we're going to extend that by one. And then we'll add three upside down um, stone brick stairs. And then stone brick slabs sticking out. And then repeat the stairs and the slabs again here. And then behind it, We'll add in gray concrete all the way around it. Then we'll add in stone in the front and wrap that all the way around this vent, filling in all these gaps. And then we're gonna take out end rods, go to the side of this end rod and make this go all the way to this pillar, which is right there. 
Then we're going to go right above, uh, adjacent to that stone brick slab here. We'll add in this end rod up to that top deck, like so. And then above here, we'll add in iron bars, two blocks here. Then we'll take out stone brick slab, go underneath here, fill in that part with three, and then we'll add two here, then make this go all the way to that area. And then we'll skip a block here and make an L shape using iron bars like that. And then we'll move this iron bar so it's on the outer corner. Do the same thing on the other side. Apparently I made this wrong. So let's go back on this side, add in two iron bars here, like so. And then we'll make a two by two of stone like that, stone buttons in the front, two of them, and then two smooth stone slabs like that. Then a two by two of iron bar top of that. Then we're gonna go down the up and add in another two by two of iron bars. Now we're gonna move on to this side, add in three stone brick slabs here, and then we'll add in uh, facing each other upside down another brick stairs. This. And then in the inside we'll fill that in gray concrete. Then add two blocks tall, stone, around it like this and fill in this part as well. Alright, then we're going to move up to this side, add another column here, and this top section, this is top two parts I guess, they're going to extend all the way uh, back to this wall here and then, you know what, we're going to fill in this wall in with stone all the way across like that. Alright, so now I'm going to make some vents, uh, three of these stone brick uh, slabs followed by stone brick stairs then the slabs again and then the stairs and then the slabs again and uh, make sure you're doing this right in the inside part fill that in with gray concrete then fill in this part in with uh, stone like so so it should look like this. All right, so after we're done with this, what we're gonna do, fill in all this floor in with gray concrete. After that's filled in, we'll add in end rods here, four blocks tall. Like so, add an iron bar here. And then three iron bars here. Dagley, we'd add two. And then Dagley, add another two. And then underneath here, we'll add a stone brick uh, slab here, and then a stone brick stairs. Outside part, stone brick slab. And this part's gonna be five blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five. Dangling back, another stone brick. And then stone brick stairs here, and stone brick slabs for the rest. Then we'll add in uh, iron bars, wrap that all the way around this stone brick and then we'll add another one right over here then two iron trap doors here um, and rod over here another brick fence on top cobblestone wall here and rod on top like that then above here we're gonna make a t-shape using stone brick slabs add another one right here then we'll fill in this floor area with uh, gray concrete. And we'll add dark oak uh, fence gate here. Make that go all the way up. And open all of them. Add a acacia fence gate here and open it up. Add an end rod, four blocks long right there. Then we'll add iron bars. Wrap that all the way around wraps around here, this part, like that, and then we're going to add another three here. And it goes back this way, all the way back to that box. Then we'll add in a two by two of stone, 
right here with two smooth stone slabs. And then we'll add in a quartz block here and a quartz slab on top. So next we'll take out stone, put it in this corner and make it go all the way down. And then we'll add four on top of this. So one, two, three, and four like that. Add stone brick stairs, uh, making a plus sign. And then we'll add in stone brick slabs in the corners like that. Then we'll add light gray glass panes at the bottom, all four sides. And on top we'll make an O shape using smooth quartz. Then I'm going to add it only in the corners. And then we'll add in um, white glass pane, three blocks wide on each side. Next, we'll add a plus sign using uh, smooth quartz on each side, like this. And the last side. And then we'll add in smooth quartz uh, stairs right in the corners, making like circles on each side. Then we'll add in smooth quartz in the corners, and then we'll, and then we'll add in smooth quartz um, on each side like that, and smooth quartz slab right here. So it kind of makes it a diamond, and then we'll add a plus sign with smooth quartz right there on top. So next we're gonna go down here and add three blocks wide of iron bars, top of this end rod, and delete this iron bar apparently we don't need it let's add a stone block here and then go down we add five here one two three four five then we'll add in a stone brick slab here and then stone brick stairs upside down and then we're going to do the same thing three more times after we've done that three more times we should have four of these holes and then we're going to fill in the inside with uh, gray concrete like so. Then we'll move up over here on this side, add in a stone brick slab here and stone brick stairs like that. And actually this stairs is going to face the other direction. And then we'll add a stone brick slab here, stone brick stairs, stone brick slab, stone brick stairs, stone brick uh, slab like that so that we have four of these holes so I guess there's like half a hole here and then we'll add in uh, stone right next door here like that the inside part we would fill that in with gray concrete like so so the part that we just made all this box here we're gonna extend that so it's gonna stack it up by two alright so once we stacked it up we should have this then we'll go to the side here, add another one diagonal, and then we'll add a diagonal, make this part five blocks long like this. Then on this side, we'll add in polished andesite, stone block here, and then three, well, we're going to add another stone block here, and then we're going to add three of these uh, stone brick slabs, and then we'll have uh, some upside down stone brick stairs here and then we need another row uh, facing towards it so I'm gonna place some blocks temporarily so I can place it like that and then we'll add in gray concrete right behind this slab cross like that and then we'll fill in these two vents here with uh, stone all the way across the top and we're gonna make this border go all the way across. So it's just like the same height like that. And this side, make the stone go all the way around. Wrap that around like that. And then this side, wrap that around and then wrap this part all the way around. So it's like one big layer. Then I'm gonna add in a diagonal of three here like that. 
and we're going to make it four blocks tall. So one, two, three, four. And we'll make the same outline that we have on the bottom to the top part. So extend that all the way around like that. And after we're done with this, you're going to pretty much uh, fill in the space in between with the stone. Once we fill that in with stone, we're going to fill in this top section with gray concrete like this. All right, so once that's been filled in, let's go on the side at dark oak fence gate here. Make that go all the way down here and open them all up. Then we'll add end rods to the sides here. Facing outwards like so. And this part here, just make it go all the way to the side of this. Once you get here, add one here. Then just wrap it all the way around. And this part here, fill that in. And I wonder what I'm going to do with that corner. I'll have to look at it once I finish this. I think I'll just do it like that. Let's see. Yep, that's what he did. So it should look like this. Then go right here, skip a block, add in two stone brick blocks like that. Then upside down, stone brick stairs. They're going to face each other. Then we'll add end rods and they're going to make a box around it. So it's like that. And then we'll add another one right here to the side of it like that. Next we're going to make a 2x2 two two of stone in this corner here. Make it 3 blocks tall. And then we'll add in stone brick stairs and you want to make a square with it. Then we're going to skip a block, and we're going to make a plus shape like that, delete the middle, and then I'm going to make it uh, four blocks tall, so it's going to go right to that stone brick stairs. Then we'll add in an O shape using black concrete, and the corner is going to fill that in with light gray uh, glass pane. This and the top part just make a round shape using the nether brick uh, stairs. So, this is the smokestack or chimney, whatever. <laughs> Skip a block of space and add another plus sign, and then we're gonna build the same thing over here. There, so once we added it, it should look like this. All right, so then we're gonna go on this side. Go diagonally to this, add stone block here, another brick fence, skeleton skull. Then we're going to skip two blocks and add in uh, another brick fence. Now I'm going to make it so I guess it's like three blocks tall. And, yeah, it's like three blocks tall and then skip a block, uh, iron bar. I'm going to make it four blocks wide. And this part's seven wide, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then make it go back for like that. Then we'll punch in two holes, so I guess right there. And we'll add in a stone block inside. Stone brick stairs, right side up. And then upside down, right there. Then we'll add two cobblestone walls uh, with a skeleton skull on top, like that. Then we'll move up over here to this part. And we'll need to add in blocks temporarily here. We're going to make a staircase going down. And then we'll add in uh, this stone brick stairs like that. And then add in this, I would say, like iron bar. Uh, what do you call it? Railing to the side of it. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. After we do that, we'll move up over here, line up with this wall, add a nether brick fence here with a skeleton skull. Then we'll add a skeleton skull right over here, add another one up, tagging up right there. 
And then we'll add another one up here. Then we'll add n rods. Um, so right here in the middle, it's going to be three blocks tall. And then we'll add um, n rods horizontally. It's going to be six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And then we'll add in another three right below that. Then we'll move up over here to these white boxes, add in stone buttons, left hand side. And then stone buttons, left hand side, the other side as well. Then we're gonna go right up here, delete this block, add in uh, stone brick stairs here. And then we'll need to add in a ladder. So we're gonna probably do the same technique that we did earlier using these blocks and then add in the stairs delete this and then we'll go up to the second stairs here and this is where the railing starts so it doesn't touch the bottom and when you're done it should look like this so then we're going to go to the side of the Suez and add in a skeleton skull on that side both sides like that then we're going to go to the mast add in another brick uh, fence right up here skeleton skull on top and then on the other side it's gonna be an end rod right above that stairs alright then we'll move down over here add in another brick fence make an L shape like that skip a block add another one another lightning bolt like that add in upside down stone brick stairs on top stone brick slab in the front and the back of this and then we'll add three stone brick slabs here and then two stone brick stairs it's gonna face uh, inside like that stone brick slab here then we'll make an L shape of stone brick slabs right there then we take iron bars and make a border all the way around it and this should end right behind that wall like that then we're going to make this stone brick part five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Add stone on top. Go diagonally and add another stone brick. And this part, we're going to make it four blocks long. So one, two, three, four. Add stone on top. Then we're going to add three end rods here. One end rod here. And then two stone buttons right there then we're going to go down the outwards and add uh, two actually three stones like that and then we'll uh, extend this uh, stone brick uh, let's say five blocks of so one two three four five add in a two by two of quartz and we'll add in quartz slab on top stone by the side of this and we'll add in stone on the rope e behind it and then we'll add another stone brick block here stone and then polish andesite three blocks tall and then stone on top and then we're going to fill in the rest of this wall with stone after that's been filled in we'll add in end rods here it's going to be four blocks like that and then we'll add another row of end rods and it goes across towards the top. Then we'll go on this side and then we'll make this part a three by three polish andesite and then in the middle stone buttons like that. Next we'll make this stone brick four long so one two three four and then uh, polish andesite three blocks tall and we're going to fill in the rest with stone in the inside part and these two parts of stone then we'll add cobblestone wall, two blocks here, two skeleton skulls, and then two iron trap doors on top, skeleton skull here, and then two here, and then a red glass pane right next to that uh, stone brick. Then we'll move up back over here, and we'll add in cobblestone wall here, and then make it go all the way right to the top and then we'll fill in the floor of this with gray concrete
Next, we're to go on this side, and we'll add in four stone bricks uh, like that. Then three block tall door with the polished andesite, and then two stone brick, diagonally stone brick, and we're to connect that up with the other side. Then we'll fill in the rest of this wall of stone, and also fill in the floor with uh, the gray concrete. All right, once that's been filled in, we'll add a stone bind to the side of this. That end rod, four blocks tall. Another end rod here, four blocks tall. And then end rod all the way across the top row. Then we'll add in another pillar here with cobblestone wall. And two polishing sites here. Stone bun here, stone brick slab on top, and then we'll make an L shape using quartz, red terracotta here, and then two quartz slabs like that, and then we'll add in a skeleton skull right there. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. What I'm gonna do for uh, part three of this Ticonderoga tutorial is quite long. Sorry, takes so long because it is. A really large build and it is well detailed that's why it takes so long because it's gonna be really good when you finish it uh, but yeah hope you guys enjoy this video thanks to Sketsy again for the original design and uh, hopefully we'll finish it in part four maybe though it might take part five I don't know um, but <laughs> please hit that like button down below if you guys uh, want to see part four and I do read your comments I did a poll recently uh, asking how many people needed part three so there was quite a bit of people so that's why I uh, did it right away and um, yeah we'll see you guys in the next video peace